What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today I'm gonna be showing you something that I've been really excited to do myself. This is how you can create a animated GIF, and I say GIF, yes I do, not GIF. Uh, create an animated GIF uh, that you can actually put on an Instagram story via a sticker. So for those of you who are familiar with Instagram, uh, there's a great feature to go into add a GIF and type in a keyword and see all the different possibilities of different fun stickers that you can stick to your Instagram story. So there's tap here, swipe up, click here. There's all sorts of uh, uh, keywords that you can type in and then GIFs that align with those uh, keywords will show up. And so what we've determined is that uh, this is a great potential arbitrage for your brand to actually create branded GIFs, align them with keywords, and then get essentially free impressions for, for your brand on Instagram stories, which is where a lot of users' attention is these days. And so based on all of the data that's led us to that uh, determination, I'm gonna show you actually how to make those GIFs today, step-by-step -step process, so that your brand can get some more impressions on Instagram stories for free. And uh, special thanks to Dan Cox. Uh, to uh, l He let me know about this, um, this possibility. You're gonna to wanna to go to jiffy.com as your first step, okay? That's G-I-P-H-Y.com. And you're gonna create an account. And I created an account. I mean, you could just put in an email address and a password to immediately create your account. Uh, you could also create an account with Facebook if you're logged into Facebook. I created an account with Facebook and what I did was um, in my account settings, I renamed my username to Data Driven Design. So you're gonna to wanna to have a username. Now your username is what gets submitted uh, as your URL. So you're gonna need a URL for your channel. And so uh, mine is uh, jiffy.com or giffy.com slash channel slash data-driven design. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you have to submit to giffy.com or jiffy.com uh, a request to become verified. And apparently this is not too hard to do. What you're gonna do is um, go to the little <clears throat> vertical dot icon here and up in their, me their main menu next to our, in between artists and upload after you've created your account. And uh, you're gonna click the, the link that says support. When you click the link that says support, you're gonna want to hover over, you'll see six boxes, featured help topics. Click Jiffy for brands and artists. Okay, and then click contact us on the left on the next screen. Under drop us a line, type in your email address, your full name, your channel URL, which I was just showing you a minute ago. Um, and then the subject. Now, uh, if you do what do you need help with, what you can do is go to Jiffy for Brands and then becoming verified. Okay, so put that in there and then just type in your subject and in description just type in you know, I'd like to be verified. I'd like to have my channel verified so that I can post GIFs on Instagram. That's what I did. And when you submit it, um, you should. they say that you should hear back within 48 hours. And once your account has been verified, your GIFs will actually show up on Instagram. But let me show you now. Um, so here's a GIF I made um, in my account that I'm hoping shows up in Instagram within the next... Uh, couple days and um, all you do is go to upload and you upload your files and your GIF show up and then it, and I'm going to show you this in a minute and then, and then you have keywords that you can uh, basically tags they call them tags and um, I'm going to actually go to my channel right now so you can see this when you type in tags, those tags will be the search phrases that any user of Instagram can type in to add your GIF to their story. So for example, mine, <clears throat> this data over opinions.com GIF that's flashing the word data uh, has several tags. I have data driven, digital marketing company, uh, 
digital marketing, web design company, digital agency, data, data over opinions and web design. But I've got one that I really want to build because I don't think there's really a good one out on Instagram for this yet. And it's basically uh, when you launch a new website and you want to promote a new website, there's really not anything that... Um, there's not really any cool uh, GIFs that show up when you put new websites. So what you can do is I use Canva. And essentially all you need to do is, since a GIF is just basically like a multi-framed image, <clears throat> you just need to build multiple frames of an image. And so what I'm going to do here <clears throat> is I'm going to put new website. And I'm going to delete my data over opinion. So I'm in Canva, which is a tool that some of you may be familiar with. Uh, I have a paid version for, I think, like $10 a month. We use it all the time. But there is a free version also. This is the easiest thing ever. We're going to duplicate this frame. And we want the word new to essentially flash. So we're going to download two transparent images, PNG, transparent background. We've got our images. So here's our images, right? We've got new, new website data-driven design and just website data-driven design. But essentially, this is what our GIF's going to look like. So the next step is to go to gifmaker.me, G-I-F-M-A-K-E-R.me, and you'll just upload your images. And then once they're uploaded, boom, there it is. So you can see right there on my screen that it's flashing, new website. Now all we have to do here is click create GIF animation, download the GIF. And when I download the GIF, uh, you can open it up and see what it looks like here. This is what it looks like downloaded. Frame one, frame two. But if you really want to test it out, you can open up a finder window. And you can see there it is. Like I'm not doing anything now and it's flashing. That's an animated GIF right there. So now what you're going to do is go back over to your Giphy channel, Jiffy channel, and click upload. Now this is the main part that you need to pay attention to as well. So now you've created your Jiffy account, you've requested that it be verified, and you've created a GIF using Canva and GIFmaker.me. <clears throat> now you're gonna upload your GIF, and this is what it looks like on Jiffy. And what you're gonna do is enter your tags. So I'm gonna say new website as a tag. Check uh, website new as a tag. Now these, again, these are the search phrases that you want people to be able to type into Instagram to find your GIF. I'm gonna type in web website design, web design, uh, web designer. After applying to become a brand or artist account channel on Jiffy, you actually have to upload at least five GIFs and then it looks like you can be a brand channel and verified and uh, get them sent through the API into Instagram. You can see here I have two and it's saying upload at least three more GIFs and you can become a brand channel and then get verified and then your GIFs will show on Instagram. My friends, free brand arbitrage here. Just a little bit of work, a little bit of crafty scrappiness uh, from your, your brand. We can help you with this if you want. We can help you with the creative. Uh, for more free digital marketing tips, go to dataoveropinions.com. And to do business with us, hit me up at paul at datadriven.design. We are building websites, digital marketing strategies, content creation, custom software, mobile apps, Alexa skills, Google Actions. To check out our custom Alexa skill, go to askdatadrivendesign.com for a free trial. My friends, thanks and have a great day.